Right, I've been doing a lot of thinking this week and I've come to realise where we're all going wrong or more specifically why WWE isn't doing very good when it comes to TV ratings and the answer is simple it's because Stephanie McMahon isn't the Universal Champion. Forget Brock Lesnar, forget Bill Goldberg the reason that the Raw ratings are in the toilet is because Stephanie McMahon doesn't have gold around her waist. If Mrs. Triple H was elevated to the top, everything would change. And here's six reasons why. Number six, she shouts a lot. Do you know what I like? Shouting. When somebody shouts, it proves that they must have something important to say after all. If you're saying something stupid, or what you're saying has no merit, you're not going to shout it because you don't want people to hear. But if what you're saying makes a lot of sense, you've got to shout. Example, you're all filthy nerds and you need to remember that wrestling's meant to be fun and it's not real. See? With that in mind, who shouts more than Vince McMahon's daughter? The answer is no one. She shouts at main eventers. She shouts at jobbers. She shouts at her husband. She shouts at her father. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard her not shouting and it's gotten to the point now I don't even hear what she says. I just know it's a big deal. So can you imagine what would happen if she became Universal Champion and could then shout about that? The world would hear her shrieks and come running back to the product. It is of course what's best for business or as she would say what's best for business. Number five, no one dares stand up to her. Tying into reason number six when Steph does all this shouting, nobody stands up to her. Sometimes a wrestler may say something or just grumble sadly, but ultimately no one ever gets in Stephanie McMahon's face and she never suffers any cadopancies. So with that in mind, she should be the champ. Look at what happened when Titus O'Neil tugged on Vinnie Mac's blazer. He was killed. Kind of. In fact, he probably would have preferred that given today he's nothing more than a giant joke. At least if he was in the grave, He'd be at peace. Ain't no way Titus is at peace now. Well, unless he's kissing his child on the lips. It's true though. If you come at Steph, she will knock you so far down the card, you will throw up all over yourself. You can't come back from that. No one can get past vomiting on themselves. So, if you can't get one over on her, why not make her the top guy in the company? She would be dominant, strong, and that's what we all like. Number four, she's a McMahon, right? It's her company after all. Vince McMahon has been champion, so why can't Stephanie follow suit? Hell, while you're at it, why not make her and Shane tag team champions? And then get Linda McMahon back and put the Intercontinental Championship on her. Then go out there and find Vince's estranged brother Rod, Rod McMahon, and he is real, and make him the US champion. Now we're talking, friends. Now we're talking. Number three, she works out at midnight. If you follow Stephanie McMahon on social media, you know that she loves to work out at midnight. How do we know this? Because she lets us know all the time, every day. And it sometimes feels like if you're not working out at midnight, she's judging you. This is a sign of serious work ethic though. And if WWE has taught me anything, it's that hard work pays off in the organization. You've got to reach for that brass ring and busting your deltoids at the end of a long business day, especially when you've yelled at everyone, sounds like grabbing that ring to me. Then she can open up Raw by squatting for 20 minutes. And let's face it, that would be better than 99% of the opening promos anyway. So there. Number two, wrestling's fake, so who gives a sh It is though, right? Who even cares if a ghost becomes WWE Champion? What difference does it make? Give the belt to a ghost. I mean, the ghost isn't going to be able to wear the belt around its waist because it's a ghost and it's invisible and it'll just fall on the floor. But one time, John Cena came out wearing the title around his neck like he was some kind of animal. No one cared about that. So ipso facto, ghost for champ. Number one, money feuds. Straight up, if Stephanie McMahon wins the universal title, she can go into top feuds with the following. Roman Reigns a program where Stephanie McMahon becomes the biggest babyface in the company. Triple H, the Helmsleys in the Ultimate Family Feud, where the winner becomes head of the household. Seth Rollins, can be a hair versus hair match. Loser goes bald, who doesn't want to see that? Braun Strowman, I don't know about you, but I am ready to see Strowman lose clean to the Stephanie Slam. Whatever her finisher is. Samoa Joe, the Destroyer, more like the Destroyed, as in destroyed by Stephanie McMahon. Bray Wyatt, well, 
He never wins any feuds, does he? So why would this be any different? Finn Balor, the demon versus the bitch, writes itself. Broken Matt Hardy. You actually know, I like Broken Matt Hardy. Don't, don't do Broken Matt Hardy. Nobody needs that. But either way, step the champ. Now, if you like that video, make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and then come follow me on Twitter at The Miller Report. You can even watch a video I've done in the past, like Six Reasons Roman Reigns is the Greatest Wrestler Ever, and you can support this nonsense on Patreon. And you should. Otherwise, you're a moron.